Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. It's lovely to have you here today. And today I've got for you a chair workout, which is for the upper body. So this is suitable for anyone of any age. I filmed it with the older population in mind. So anyone who's feeling tension in the neck, in the shoulders, this is for you. All right, so all you need is a nice sturdy chair. You want something where you can sit away from the back. All right, so go ahead, get yourselves ready, and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to start in a really good seated position, because even if we are in a chair, there's no reason why we can't work our core and also strengthen our back muscles. So to do that, you might want to wiggle your bottom forward a little, so you're not resting on the back of the chair. Think of drawing your tummy in and trying to lift through the spine. So I want you to imagine you've got a thread in the top of your head and it's pulling you upwards. You can feel that you're always trying to lift up. That's going to work your back muscles, which is what you want. And then you're going to let your arms hang down by your side, nice and gentle there. Okay, so just let them hang down so there's no tension at all in that upper body. You can feel that you can just kind of move your head around. All right, so first thing we're going to do is work a little bit of stretch in the back of the neck. So Think about where your chin is to start with, okay? So a lot of us have a forward head posture. This is age related, but also very much technology related. I actually see lots of teenagers with their chins sticking out. So I want you to think of putting your finger on your chin and try to push your chin back. And as you do, you'll feel you start to lift and lengthen through the back of the neck. All right, now you're gonna hold that position and you're gonna take a breath in, and as you breathe out, you're just gonna take your chin down towards your chest till you feel that stretch. And then you're gonna to inhale to come back up. So you're going to exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, up, and one more, exhale, chin to the chest, and inhale, up. Now you're going to exhale, gently tilting your head over to the right, and inhale, coming up. Being very mindful that you're not letting your shoulders go, so we don't want this. Yeah, we want to only move that head as far as it will go. It might not go very far, that's absolutely fine. Just be gentle on that neck, so a little tilt over. And up. And one more over. And up. Now we're going to do a little turn. So you're turning your head to look towards your right. And come back to centre. And then the other way. And back to centre over and back and over and back okay so we're going to start to bring the arms into it now so i want you to have your arms by your side but have the backs of the hands facing forward if you look at me this is the position okay and then from there we're going to take a breath in and as you breathe out i want you to rotate your hands forward and as you do, you're going to feel your shoulder blades activating at the back. And then you're going to inhale, come back. All right, so you're going to exhale, turning the hands as much as you can. Once you start to feel those shoulder blades, see if you can give them a little squeeze together. And back. And as we do this, just keep following me. Just be mindful you don't want your shoulders lifting. All right, because we don't want to use the neck muscles here. We want to try and work the muscles lower down, so on the shoulders and the upper back and forward. So you're going to exhale, rotate those hands, squeeze the shoulder blades and come forward. 
exhale, rotate, squeeze the shoulder blades and forward and last one, exhale, rotate and come forward, good. Still lifting up, so try not to sit back, lift up and let's do a little bit of work on the arms now. Now I want you to be really careful that you don't lift here in the neck, okay? So you're going to bring both arms up, but you're only lifting them as high as you can without this happening. So you've got to really think about drawing those shoulder blades down as the arms come up and then bring them down, okay? So you're going to raise them up and down. They certainly won't go higher than your shoulders, all right? But if that's uncomfortable or doesn't feel right or your neck's starting to kick in, then bring the hands a little lower, okay? Because you've got to make it work for you. So again, to lift and lower. Now you're going to lift and take the arms out to the side and bring them down. So we're going to lift and lower. Still sitting nice and tall. Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, one more time, lift and lower. Now we're going to do little circles, so you're going to bring the arms forward, out to the side and down. And if that's too much, you can do it small circles like this and down. This is all about just getting your shoulders moving, all right, and down lift, out, and down. One more, lift, out, and down. Let's reverse it, so going out to the side, forward, and down. Side, forward, and down. Side, forward, and down. Side, forward, and down, and side, forward, and down. Now I want you to bring your arms up and turn your palms towards you. So you want a right angle here. Okay, so if I go sideways, can you see the position here? And we're just going to stretch across the chest. So you're going to take a breath in. And as you breathe out, you're going to open those arms out. Whew, little stretch and come back. Open, stretch and back. Open, and back, open and back, open and back. One more time, open and back. Now I want you to turn your palms towards me like so. We've got our arms out to the side and then we're going to take a breath in. We're going to breathe out and imagine your hands are sliding up a wall so you're going up as far as you can without your shoulders lifting. So if you can go all the way up please do. If that's too much just go to where it feels okay and then bring the arms back down. All right, I'm going to show you sideways so you can see it. So you're exhaling, going up, reaching up, inhale, coming down. All right, two more. We're going to exhale, reaching up, inhale, down. And last one, exhale, reaching up and inhale down. Now bring your arms down, you're probably feeling that already. It's actually quite intense, isn't it, that one? So give those arms a little shake and I'm gonna turn around to show you the last exercise, okay? Because you need to see it from the back. So here we go. So don't copy me, will you? So this is just so you can see the position. All right, so I want you to do exactly what I do. So you're gonna bring your hands down by your side you're going to raise your right arm up, okay, and then from there you're going to exhale and try and bring your shoulder blade across towards your spine and then reach it back out. If you want you can lower the arm down a little, but I want you to see that I'm not using my neck, so I'm drawing the shoulder across. Can you see my shoulder blade here? and back and I'm thinking about the movement coming from down the bottom of the shoulder blade just to keep it out of the neck. We're going to do two more, down and back and down 
and back. Rest that hand down. Let's take the left arm out to the side. Now you're going to draw it down, little squeeze and reach out. Draw it down, little squeeze and reach out. Squeeze and out. Squeeze and out. One more. Squeeze and out and then bring the arm down and I'm just going to turn around to say that is your little upper body workout for today I hope you enjoyed it please press the like button if you did and let me know if there's anything you would like to see and this is one you can come back to time and time again it's really good for releasing the neck mobilizing the neck and as you can see working the muscles under the arms which are really really good to get that tension out of here. So thanks for watching, have a lovely day and I'll see you soon.